Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. On my last video, I made this peekaboo shirt and I did it using the heat and bond and I just attached the sublimated image to the inside of my shirt. Now, it turned out really cute, but I wanted to try a different method. I wanted to see how it would work out to put a sublimated image on this polyester tank top that I got at Walmart. And then I'll put my slashes in this cotton t-shirt that I also got at Walmart. So if you're interested in seeing this method of doing a peekaboo shirt, keep watching the video. Now here's the shirts and the image that I'm going to use today. Now the tank top is a no bow, I think it stands for no boundary shirt that I got at Walmart. It was three dollars on something. I think maybe three ninety six. And then the kind of salmon orange colored shirt is a Terra and Sky and I got it on clearance for three dollars. So this is a really inexpensive project to do. Now I bought this image off of Etsy. It was meant to be for a tumbler. I pulled it into Canva and I removed the background because I just wanted these colors to show through. Now like normal with sublimation this image is going to get a lot more vibrant when I add the heat to it. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and add my image to my tank top. Anytime you do sublimation it's really a good idea to pre-press what you're sublimating onto to remove any moisture and then you also want to use some type of lint roller to remove any lint or stray fibers that's on the shirt. If you don't, those can turn really wonky colors. I've lint rolled it. I'm going to go put this under the heat press for just 10 to 15 seconds. Then we'll add the image to it. Now this shirt is 92% polyester and 8% spandex. Because I'm going to be sublimating, I want to put a piece of copy paper or printer paper between the back and the front of the shirt in case any of the ink goes through the shirt. I don't want it to go on to the back side of the shirt. Hopefully that made sense. Okay, I'll go ahead and just do a quick lint rolling again where the image will go. Now the paper I'm using today is Printer's Jack and it's the Printer's Jack with the pink background or the pink on the back side. There's Printer's Jack with blue on the back, Printer's Jack with pink on the back. If you're curious to see the difference, I do have a video out where I compared both of these papers as well as Asub, Koala, Hippo, and Plain Copy Paper. I think those were all the ones I did. Then I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of heat tape on it so I hold it in place. Now I want to go ahead and get this image on the tank top before I start slashing the shirt. That way I can kind of get an idea of where I need to put my slashes. I'm going to press this at 390 degrees for 45 seconds. Now when I'm using my heat press I like to have a Teflon sheet on the bottom then typically I would put some butcher paper next. Since I have two layers of shirt plus one layer of paper in between, I'm not too concerned about it this time. Now I want to put my shirt on so that the seam of the collar is above my heat press pad. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Okay, you can see I have a pad down there. Then I want this collar to be above the pad so I'm not putting pressure on the collar or the seam. Then I put a piece of butcher paper on just in case any of the ink comes back through the back of the paper. And then finally a Teflon sheet. Now once again I'm heating this at 390 degrees for 45 seconds. Now I don't want this to shift until the shirt cools down a little bit because that could cause ghosting. Even though I don't have a lot of patience, I am going to wait at least a minute or so before I take the design off. Alright, it's cooled down a little bit, so let's see what we have.
Okay, I think that turned out gorgeous. So let's go over, we'll make the slashes in our t-shirt. So the first thing I want to do is put my cutting mat between the front and the back of the shirt. You could use a cutting mat, you could use a couple layers of cardboard, even one of those plastic cutting boards that you can get at Walmart. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and use my cutting mat. And then I need to figure out where I'm going to put my slashes so that my flower shows through. Now, if you happen to see my prior video of my peekaboo shirt, you know that I like to use a grid. Basically, I decided how wide I wanted my slashes to go, and then I put a line every 0.75 inches, or every 3 quarters of an inch. Now, I'm thinking on this shirt, because I can always add more, because I can always add more slashes, I think I might go every other one. And then if I want to, I could even go one more down. But I think I'll be fine like this. Okay, so I think I have decided where it needs to go. You don't have to tape it down, but I think I will just to kind of help it from shifting. And then I'm going to use my rotary cutter. And again, I'm just going to cut every other line for now and see how that looks. So then I just want to kind of tug on these so that they'll curl up and get smaller so you can see better through them. Okay, I'm going to cut just a little bit wider. Now on the other peekaboo shirt, because you were limited in how wide you could slash it, and you were limited because of the fabric that you attached to the inside of it, in this case, I don't have that limitation. Since I have a whole shirt under it, I can go as far as I want to. Okay, so again, I'm just going to stretch on this and make it where those really curl up and give me a lot of view. Then if I want to go back and cut in between so that they're narrower, I can do that, but I like these big windows. Now here's my final product, and I really like how this turned out. I really like having the tank top underneath the shirt instead of having the sublimation print attached to the shirt. To me, this is just more comfortable, and I really think it looks good. So if you want to try a second method on making the peekaboo shirt, give it a try. Thanks so much for joining me and sticking it out till the end. Until my next video, bye-bye.